Hi everyone, I'm Sammy Caps. Welcome, welcome. Today, I wanted to answer a question that I've been asked since the last Diablo 4 campfire chat, and that is whether or not I will be going back to Diablo 4. Now, for those of you that care, up until to today, I've been responding to that question. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know yet, but I'm here today to make an announcement and say that I will be playing in the Diablo 4 PTR for the following reasons. I have been creating content on Diablo 4 even before the game was launched, okay? So I have a lot of videos on Diablo 4 and I don't wanna get into it, but obviously my content on Diablo 4 took a big left turn when the game didn't deliver on what the majority of the player base wanted. So I went from hyping Diablo 4 to basically critiquing it. What's going on? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? You know, that kind of thing. Now, some of you took it as constructive feedback and some of you took it as me being a D4 hater, which is not true. I've said since day one and even through the turbulent times of Diablo 4, I've always stated in every single video, I want this game to be fixed because I want to play it. I am not a Diablo 4 hater. I want this game to be good. Now, whatever. People are going to take the content however they want to take the content. Um, but I've always supported Diablo 4. Now, if you want to take my honesty and my opinion as hate, then do what you want to do. You're entitled to interpret my content however you want. But the reason why I've come to this decision, for those of you that care, is because I've always maintained the same message when it comes to Diablo 4. There's so much potential in this game. And if they delivered on that, this would be an amazing game. And one of the reasons why I continue to make Diablo 4 content, even though I personally didn't like where it was going, is because I wanted to voice my opinion in order with the hopes of that having some little impact on changing it to the right or to the good, if that makes any sense. So with that in mind, how can I not participate in the PTR? I've always been as the way I see it, or at least that's how I'd like my content to be interpreted. I want to see Diablo 4 changed and be better. And in order for me to do that, I have to continue to voice my opinion because if you don't speak about things, things don't get addressed. So it's with that in mind, and hopefully that makes sense, that I need to obviously participate in the PTR because I've been a huge advocate of trying to get this game fixed. And if you take what was said in the camp in the last campfire and all these good things that are coming in the game, well, then I need to experience it because I can't assess anything until I get my hands on it. Um, so I want to give my feet. I want to participate in the PTR and I will be, this is the point of the video. I will be participating in the PTR April 2nd to the 9th. Now, for those of you that aren't on Battle.net, I'm sorry that you're not going to be able to participate in the PTR. I guess you're going to have to wait till Season 4. But I, I do play on Battle.net. I am a PC player. So I want to participate, get my hands wet and dirty in the game, experience all these itemization changes and all the class balances and all that, everything that was mentioned in the Campfire chat. And then I'm going to sit back and give my feedback to Blizzard. Again, I've always wanted this game to get good. So I want to do my part because nothing would make me more happier than to see Diablo 4 be the game that it can be and should be. Um, so I'm going to do the PTR. I'm going to give my feedback because I want to see for myself what the game, the changes, the impact how it feels 
does it feel like like they say, when you get an item, you're gonna. There's a journey with the item. That's one of the things I love about video games, is the anticipation of the next godly drop. You know, in Diablo 2, we refer to them as base items. Oh my God, that's an amazing base item, and that base item that drops for you, grows with you and your character. So it's that kind of aspirations and things in the game that, like make me like games so i want to see if that's actual actually what the experience is going to be in diablo 4. so i want to experience it for myself and i want to see firsthand how it feels and i want to decide for myself whether or not i will be playing season four because that i don't know i will play the ptr i will give the feedback and then based on that experience i will decide whether or not it's enough for me to come back to season four and at the end of the day, everyone, I suggest you do the same. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to other content creators if you don't want to. Judge for yourself. Now, if you're not a Battle.net user, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to participate in the PTR. Sorry about that. But what are you going to do? This is the decision they made. Um, you'll, If you've already paid for the game, then try Season 4. And... If it's enough for you to come back, then it will. If it's not, then go back to the sidelines and wait until the game is fixed, like to how you would like to see it. But at the end of the day, if you already bought the game, you might as well try it. And that played a little part into my decision as well. I already paid for the game. I own the game, number one. But my main rationale and reasoning behind doing this, I've been an advocate of voicing concerns with the intent of fixing the game. So how could I not participate in this? And that light bulb for me didn't come on till late last night when I was thinking about it because I got asked a question again last night over and over. And, you know, I have to participate in the PTR. I want to participate in the PTR because I want to be part of that group that helps change D4 for the better. Um, and I suggest you do the same if you already own the game. Let's make this game better. And they have taken a big step with their latest announcement with the itemizations. Now, is it going to be enough to drive everybody back? Who knows? I'm concerned with myself and what I think the game needs to be like and what I'm going to experience with the PTR. So I'm going to try the PTR for those of you that care to know. And I'm going to... Take that experience, give the feedback to Blizzard, and then once that's over, I will then sit down again and think about it and decide whether or not season four, heck, heck, excuse me, I might even decide right on the spot. Who's to say I could go into the PTR and completely get sucked into the game and it's a no brainer. I'll decide right on the spot. Holy crap. These changes are so impactful. Hell yeah, I'm playing season four. So who knows? All I can say is I wanted to let you know this way you guys don't have to ask me every night on my stream. Are you going back to D4? Are you going back to D4? Right? For those of you that care, I know a lot of you don't care whether or not I played Diablo 4. Um, but this is for the people that are in my community and come to my live streams and ask me every night. Um, so I'm going to do it and you'll just have to tune in to my streams to find out whether or not I get sucked in or it doesn't do it for me. Who knows? Time will tell. I hope, I hope it sucks me in because there's nothing more that would make me more happier than to have a variety of games to play. There's nothing worse for a content streamer, uh, content streamer yeah i do content and stream to not have a variety of games to play now first of all i'm not a variety streamer uh so please don't misinterpret but i i typically like arpgs and wouldn't it be amazing at least for a content creator like myself and a streamer that i could have you know two or three awesome arpgs to play and the three that, you know, do it for me is obviously PoE, 
and Last Epoch, which I'm having a huge blast with right now. And if I could add Diablo 4 to that list, then, you know, unbelievable. I would be so happy. So I want to participate in the PTR to do my part in helping the movement of Diablo 4. So I got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping it's going to suck me in. Nothing would make me more happier. And, you know, let me know what you think. I could go on and on about this topic, but I'm not. I'm going to stop it right here. I just wanted to let everybody know what my decision was and let me know what you think. Now, what's your decision? I'd, I'd like to hear from everyone. Obviously, the Diablo 4 players that have played this game and are still playing this game, they're ecstatic over the moon. I know. I get them coming into my live comments, uh, my comment section, and on my live streams. So I know how they feel. How about the players that have been on the sidelines and are just didn't want to come back until things got fixed? Is this enough? Are you coming back? Are you not coming back? I love to hear from the players that are not playing Diablo 4 whether this enticed them enough. Let me know your comments in the comment section. I would love to hear it. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but... We'll see you in Sanctuary. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.